everybody. So today I went on to bioequip.com and I've noticed that Insecta Slip is a fair amount of money. Uh, up to $454 for freaking 128 ounces, which I'm sure would last my whole ant keeping career, but I just don't want to pay that for Insecta Slip. Really, when I could probably buy, I could buy two extra large, which is like two times bigger than this extra large omni nests for that and I could probably get I could get up to three another three more of these uh, and even like e I could get four more of these so I could have five omni nests anyways so a uh, cheaper way is of course Vaseline now I got this method of course from Ants Canada um, if you're a big ant keeper you should know him now, before, I was using Vaseline and water, and it would melt, and it would just not be very good. So, I'm not sure how much baby powder I have to use, but I'll use a lot, just in case. Okay. I'm not even sure if that's enough. So, really, I should probably be using a spoon for this. In this case, I'm going to use my hand. Oh, my God. I'm not even sure if this is the right kind of Vaseline, but, you know, Vaseline's Vaseline, and... Holy, I just hate this stuff. Like, the only way to get it off is to rub it on something. It just it still doesn't go off. It, you can still just barely feel it, and I just hate it. I really don't like that feeling. So anyways, then what we do is we, of course, shut that. We might need more baby powder. Uh, you bring out your Omni Nest. Uh, of course, we're only putting them in the Outworld. I don't know why we need it in their chambers. We don't want them to slip on their chambers. So, yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll take the lid off. And we will somehow mix it. I guess with my hands. That I just wiped on my branding shirt to get that dumb sticky stuff off my hands. Okay, that sounds wrong. So I'm not sure even like what to do or how to make this. I probably should have done a little bit more res research. Oh well. And I'll be right back when this is finished and I clean my hands. Whoa. So I just put a lot more baby powder in and it is very slippery now so I think I'm gonna look at that. That's looking a lot like Ants Canada's. So yeah, I'll be right back. Everybody. This is why I don't like Vaseline. It just gets all over the place. Water makes it even worse. You can't get it off when you wash with water. I don't know why I'm doing this. It just makes it worse. And yeah, that's why I hate Vaseline. The water doesn't even get on you. Look at that. It's like... It's just... I hate it. So yeah, I gotta get it. I gotta find somewhere to get it off. Alright, so I got it off, but... It's kind of getting back on me because it's all over my phone now. Uh, yeah, this is the finishing product right here. It looks a little more white than it did before. So what you do is you have to have a Q-tip. Now I'm completely following Ants Canada's instructions, so I trust you, Mikey. And yeah, I've never actually used... I usually use my hands. I've never used an actual... Um, Q-tip before, and it seems to be working a lot better, a lot cleaner. Not huge loads of Vaseline everywhere on my Omni Nest. And, yeah. So in a year, when I clean this off, I'll probably have insect slip by then. So yeah, that'll be good. I want to have a layer, at least a little under a centimeter away from that. So that looks pretty good. I'm not sure how much I actually need. He doesn't have that much on it. I think just to top it off, I might... Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to watch some instructions on YouTube of Mikey um, doing this, just because, you know... Um, don't really know what I'm doing, how much I need on here, like if I need that big of a load, or if I just need a nice, smooth load right here. I think I just need a nice smooth load that you can still see through just a little bit. 
So yeah, the queen's in there. Doesn't know what's going on above. That her workers are going to be trapped in here forever. Well, until I put on an extension, then there will be a few escapees, but... Other than that, they're going to be trapped in here forever. So yeah, hope they enjoy their home. I'm just going to move it. I'll be right back. Alright, so it is now moved. We're now moving the uh, insecta slip, I guess, <laughs> is the new name for it. That's what I'm going to name it now. Uh, yeah, it looks more professional than the water and the Vaseline. So The water and the Vaseline barely worked, too. I'm hoping this does. I'm actually going to do a test with this after. See how it does. Probably should have done a test with it before. Oh, great. I got some on my hands now. So yeah, I think all we have to do is have that little thin layer in. That should be good, because we don't want to drown them. I know that's what I did um, a couple times with it. If you put too much on, they just get stuck into it. It's more sticky than it is slippery if you have too much. So yeah, um, that's really it. don't want to use my hands, because I'm afraid that I might mess it up. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to be thick enough. I'm actually going to go do some research, guys, and then I'll upload this after. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.